Sir, shall we start our discussion from the Commission for Protection of Child Rights? Why not? The National Commission for Protection of Child Rights is a statutory body established by an Act of Parliament, the Commission for Protection of Child Rights Act, 2005. The Commission is working under the Ministry of Women and Child Rights. It was constituted as a result of the UN Declaration on Survival, Protection and Development of Children. As follows, the Declaration India acceded to the Convention on the Rights of the Child on the 11th December, 1992. Sir, what does the word exceed mean? Oh, it means to give consent to a treaty, could you understand? Yes, sir, please continue. The treaty stipulated the signatory states to take all necessary steps to protect children's rights enumerated in the convention. As a continuation of the acceptance of the treaty, the government of India adopted National Charter for Children in 2003. By the by, do you know what the children's rights are? Yes, sir, may I? Yes, please. Right to name and nationality. Right to identity, right to expression, right to information, right to freedom of thought, right to freedom of association of peaceful assembly, right to privacy, right to family environment, right to health and special care, right to security, right to education, right against exploitation, right to protection against drug abuse, right against sexual abuse, right against traffic in children, right to seek refuge, right to justice, right to special protection in an emergency. Good. A child has the right to all civil, political and cultural rights enlisted by the United Nations Human Rights Documents. We can classify child rights into four categories precisely. They are, right to survival, the right to protection, the right to participation, and the right to development. Right to survival includes, right to be born, right to minimum standards of food, shelter and clothing, right to live with dignity, right to health care, safe drinking water, nutritious food, a clean and safe environment, and information to help them stay healthy. Right to protection includes, right to be protected from all sorts of violence, right to be protected from neglect, right to be protected from physical and sexual abuse, right to be protected from dangerous drugs. Right to participation includes, right to freedom of opinion, right to freedom of expression, right to freedom of association, right to information, right to participate in any decision making that involves them directly or indirectly. Right to development includes, right to education, right to learn, right to relax and play, right to all forms of development that is emotional, mental and physical. Thank you, sir. Now it is clear. Okay. Let us conclude that the central government constitutes the National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights, and its functions and responsibilities are clearly defined in the Act. The National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights consists of the following members. The chairperson should have an exemplary work record in child welfare, and the other six members are the commission. Among them, two members shall be women. The members have a good track record in the fields of education, child health, care, welfare or child development, juvenile justice or care of neglected or marginalized children or children with disabilities, elimination of child labor or children in distress, child psychology or sociology, laws relating to children. Do you know what the functions of the National Commission for the Protection of Child Rights are? No, sir, could you explain them now? Yes, please listen, they are. Assess and review the safeguards provided for child rights protection in India under the existing laws and suggest measures for implementing them effectively. Present reports on the workings of the laws in this domain to the central government as and when necessary. Enquire about cases of child rights violations and initiate proceedings. Study the factors that prevent the enjoyment of children's rights impacted by terrorism, riots, natural calamities, communal violence, trafficking, HIV, AIDS, torture and exploitation, maltreatment, prostitution and pornography, and suggest remedial measures for them. Enquire about the needs of children requiring special care and protection, such as disadvantaged and marginalized children, children in conflict with the law, children of prisoners and children without families, and recommend remedial measures. Review current policies concerning children's rights and protection by studying treaties and international instruments and suggest changes as needed. Conduct research in the field of child rights. Advocate child rights and promote, disseminate the idea through mass campaigns, seminars, etc. Investigate specific complaints received from children or anyone else on their behalf. Encourage the incorporation of child rights in school curriculums and train teachers in that respect. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Please keep this class in mind. It will benefit you in your UPSC examinations. Sure. I will keep your classes.